All right, let's take what we've learned in this preliminary series of videos right here for the full face two thirds profile, the loop lighting pattern. Let's tie that together with some of the things we learned about off camera flash in the previous uh, videos that we've been doing here. And let's see if we can put together a nice photograph of Toby here in front of this really kind of unusual uh, modern art piece on the wall here at the Marriott. So first photograph here is just turn a teeny bit more, Toby. I'm gonna turn your head just a little bit more, a little bit more. I like her in that modified two thirds view that we talked about earlier. A little bit more. Aaron is going to light up our uh, light up our loop lighting pattern the way we talked about that in our series uh, about off camera flash. I think she's got it pretty well nailed. Let's set up the photograph. I'm going to take a low angle right here, mainly because I want that painting to really show. Okay, image number one, and I'm going to range it a couple different ways. This is right now is at 5.6 at 160th of a second, and I'm at ISO 640. My lighting, my exposure, everything's looking fine. I'm going to go ahead and change that to, I'm going to take it all the way down to maybe, we're at a, how about a 60th of a second? That's about another stop of light to pick up the ambient. And we are picking up that background just a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to slow it down even more. How about a 30th of a second? Let's see how it ranges the scene. And now we're starting to lighten up those shadows and the I'll lighten up the shadows on the shadow side of the face and the image is kind of coming alive here. I'm going to back up just a bit more here because I want to get her whole gown in. And let me take this photograph again right here. Good, good, good. Pretty photograph. And just not popping out of the scene. I'm going to take it down to about a 25th of a second. See how I like that. And I think that looks pretty nice. I think the ratio of the highlight to the shadow, I'm probably cooking at about a four to one ratio right here. But I think when I look at the image, it looks pretty nice here. Now there's two ways I can modify and enhance this image. Number one is with my little background flash. We've got just a little flash. It's about $29, maybe less than that from, uh, from B&H. And it's fired with, a, with an optical slave eye. So I'm gonna let LaDon just put that on the table behind the bride, pointing at the bride first of all. And if we're ready to go, all right. And again, just changing the scene up just a bit. And we got the photograph and you can see it's just lighting up the gown beautifully. I'm gonna zoom in to maybe a half length pose with that blue behind her. It looks beautiful. Again, here we go. Looks very, very nice. Now, why don't we vary this one more time and let's turn the light back towards uh, the painting. just brightening up that painting. It just, just kind of exploding color behind us. And it, it just is <laughs> electric blue behind her. Really cool looking. So again, with the combination of our off-camera flash, with our little accent light in back, with our loop lighting pattern on our subject's face, and our kind of a full face view right here, we got something looking pretty nice. I want to just run through a series of images now, maybe the way I might do it on a wedding day, and let's see how many images we can pull off just in this spot. I'm going to slow down the shutter speed even more because I want just a little bit more fill on her face from the ambient here, particularly on the close-ups here. One thing that I like to do is when I'm photographing a bride and a groom together, I like the key to one of the people. Now this echoes back to what I was saying earlier on. When we look at this image of my bride, she's in a two-thirds view, Charlie's in the full face view. What's that mean for the lighting? I ask Erin to key to my bride, so she's going to put the loop lighting pattern on Toby. But since she's in a two-thirds view, what view does that put Charlie in? That's going to put Charlie in basically a split lighting pattern. So let's go ahead and set it up. Chin down, lean towards me, Toby, just a bit. Charlie, chin down even more, even more. Turn your head just slightly, slight tilt, chin down more. And just a pretty photograph in front of that pretty cool painting right there. Looking good. Charlie, just slide your foot in a little closer to the gown. Perfect, slight bend of the foot there, good. Here we go right here. So just in that little segment there, we found a nice feature in the hotel, the nice, beautiful blue modern art painting behind them. We let that be a, a cool background for us. We put pretty lighting on our faces and we got a nice series of images of our bride and groom just working this little feature right here. Let's see what else we can find throughout the hotel here, see what else we can pull off here before we leave here this afternoon.